Have you ever realized that when you entered into that relationship with Jesus Christ, it completely changes your identity? Yeah, your legal name is still the same. Yeah, you may still look the same on the outside, but the way you look to God and what has happened to you spiritually completely changes your identity. So where's the biblical evidence for this? Well, we find it in Ephesians chapter 2, starting in verse 1, and it says, and it starts off by talking about the way we were before we entered into that relationship with Christ. And then as it moves forward, it starts to tell us more about what happened spiritually to our identity as we entered into that relationship. So it starts off, and you were dead in your trespasses and sins. Not, not dead as in your body's no longer breathing, your heart's not beating. You were spiritually dead because you were permanently separated from, not permanently, but you were separated from God. In which you once walked following the course of this world. The world teaches us to remain in sin. The world teaches us and encourages us to remain in that sin. So be wary of that. Following the prince of the power of the air, that's Satan, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, another way of describing Satan, among whom we have we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath like the rest of mankind. We have to be aware every Christian was once in this condition. They were following the world. They were following the promptings of Satan and they were permanent. They were separated from God. <clears throat> and here's that wonderful phrase, but God being rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. That's two verses. There's a lot to break down in here. First of all, it's because of God's mercy that we even have an opportunity to be saved. And it's because of his love that we have an opportunity to be saved. So even when we were spiritually dead, separated from God, he made us alive through his grace and raised us up and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. You have been raised up out of that death. You have been resurrected out of that spiritual death and made alive in your relationship with Christ Jesus. For by grace, that's unmerited favor, that's, that's God giving you something you don't deserve, we have been saved through faith. And this is not our own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works so that no one can boast. You cannot earn this salvation. It comes because you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. We were created to do this. And then in, Ephesians, um, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, starting in verse 17, it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. You have that new identity. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God through Christ, reconciled, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. What does that mean? It means we can put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ and no longer be spiritual, be dead, be spiritually alive because we've entered into that relationship with Jesus. That is, in Christ God, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Therefore, because of this new identity, we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. God is building his kingdom through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who knew no sin, 
that we might become the righteousness of God. That is a huge piece of this identity. When God looks at me, when God looks at you, he does not see your mess. He sees the righteousness of Jesus Christ, something I could never obtain on my own, something you can never obtain on your own. As we focus on this series of more of Jesus and less of us, recognize that a huge piece of this is your identity in a, within your relationship with Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.